Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Dariani and if you're new here, bienvenidos. Today's video I'll be showing you parts of my travel morning routine. This video was actually recorded in North Carolina while in training. First things first is waking up. After waking up, I do my silent gratitude where I give thanks for another day. Then I do my lazy stretch and once I'm ready, I check my phone send morning messages to my loved ones, check any notifications that I may have, and occasionally scroll through social media if need be. And then once ready, I get up, change the temperature on the thermostat from 68 degrees to either 72 degrees or 74 degrees to warm up the room a bit, open the curtains to let in some natural light, and then make my bed. Moving on to parts of my hygiene routine. After making my bed, I brush my teeth, drain my bladder, and start my morning skincare routine. My skincare routine starts by me washing my face. I wash my face using the salicylic acid cleanser, and I wash my face about two times. First time to wash and cleanse, and the second time to exfoliate using a facial sponge. I get a lot of inflammation, so after washing my face, I get an ice cube to depuff, rubbing the ice cube all over my face, but focusing mainly on the eye area. And after all that, I dry my face using a paper towel and then I move on to my serums. To hydrate, I start with my hyaluronic acid serum. I use a couple of drops and apply it all over my face and my neck area. For my pores, I use my niacinamide serum I also use a couple of drops and apply it all over my face and neck area. For my hyperpigmentation, I use the Alpha Arbutin. I apply a pea-sized amount to my fingertips and apply that all over my face, focusing on the areas where I have hyperpigmentation, including my neck area. To moisturize and balance out my skin, I used the Multibiotic Moisturizer. I also used a pea-sized amount to my fingertips and apply that to my face and neck area. Then I use Blistax to moisturize my lips. Then I grab a spoolie to comb my lashes and my eyebrows. Good morning. Because my morning routine is not intensive, I want to take the time to talk about some of the products that I've been using lately and pretty much give it like a little review. So before coming down here, I wanted to try products that cater to my skin and uh, two of the products or two of the brands that stuck out to me was, what is the name of this thing? was the inky list and also the ordinary i even watch youtube videos about them you know comparing one to another and i didn't really get the answers that i wanted so i decided that i'm going to check out both products one at a time so as of right now i am using the inky list and i'm pretty much using their acne prone products because that is what my skin falls under so the cleanser that i've been using is the forgive me english is not my first language therefore these pronunciations are terrible for me so this cleanser is salicylic acid 
cleanser and this cleanser is so good so it says it helps reduce blackheads and breakouts and this could be used in the a.m. and the and the p.m. so I've been using this for the past month literally morning and night and it's really good what I like about it is that the liquid itself is really thick it doesn't have a smell and it cleans i really like also that it doesn't have fragrance because i have a very sensitive nose so if i smell a product it will most likely get me nauseous so i really like that this product right here is little but it's mighty another thing that i like about this entire collection is that their products are very 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 affordable and i also like that their products come in like smaller sizes because it allows me to pretty much use them and whenever i finish with them i can move on to something else whether it's from the same brand or a different brand so i like that and this little thing right here is really good and also i got this cleanser because um i heard that salicylic acid is really good for acne prone skin so booyah after washing my face and letting my face dry i use a retinol this retinol helps reduce the sign of aging and this you use it at night so this i only use at night and when you starting off using a retinol a dermatologist once told me or recommended that when you start off a retinol you want to first start by doing it one night wait a week and obviously if it didn't affect your skin in a negative way you can use it again the following week for two days then wait another week and then use it again the following week for three days and so on so i've been doing that with this i think i'm at a point where i can use it four days a week so this right here i like it a lot if you have a concern with reducing the signs of aging this is a really good thing for you i'm 28 years old i don't necessarily have to use it but my philosophy is if i could start doing something now to help myself later then why not so I use this retinol right here then to moisturize my skin I use a couple of serums so the first serum that I use is the hyaluronic acid serum and this helps hydrate your skin and this little thing right here also little but mighty I think all these products are little but mighty and this you can use morning and night next product that I have is niacinamide serum and this helps control the appearance of excess oil and also this can be used morning and night and the next one that i have is something that is also not necessary but my mentality with it is the same mentality that i have for the retinol so this right here is collagen booster and this could be used morning and night and this pretty much just helps plump the skin very very simple and i'm at a point where i think that i've used these products enough to see if they are working for me so the hyaluronic acid the niacinamide along with the collagen booster i think that it has been doing um my skin justice i have seen a change i do think that the appearance of my skin is really really good I am still working on like some hyperpigmentation, but we're going in the right track. And now that I mentioned my hyperpigmentation, let's talk about the things that I've been using to brighten up my skin and to treat my hyperpigmentation. This next product is called Alpha Arbutin, and this helps fade dark spots, and this could also be used morning and night. This is really good. Obviously, with this, you do see more results long term you won't see results right away this helps reduce your dark spots slowly and i will say i've definitely seen that for sure next two products these two products right here i will say if you have had uh, if you have hyperpigmentation on your face i will say to be very 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 careful with these two products right here especially this one this is a vitamin c and egf serum and is 15 percent this helps intensively brighten 
and I will say it really does now before you use any products make sure that you understand your skin and also make sure that you are checking your skin every day to see if the products that you are using are helping you when I was using all of these products I was using them all at once now this right here you can use it also morning and night so I was doing that you only use a pump and that's that now the problem that I have with my face is that I have hyperpigmentation in certain areas which is right here I have a little shadow and then I have hyperpigmentation on this side of my face hyperpigmentation on this side of my face and in the last couple of years or in the last year um, just my forehead area has gotten darker I think that's because of the use of a mask so when I started using this product it did start to brighten up my skin however the inside of my skin is already brighter it doesn't have any hyperpigmentation so I consider it my normal skin so this product started to brighten my hyperpigmentation but it also started to brighten my normal skin as well so the inside of my skin was a little bit brighter and then the hyperpigmentation because it took a little bit longer to light it up a it kind of looked a lot more pronounced and at first I was wondering like what is going on and then I realized that it was the product and I did realize that yes it is helping with brightening however it's brightening everything and somebody that's really close to me told me that whatever product I was using to stop using it now I did consider it however I paid money for it so I said you know what let me get my thinking pants on and I said I already paid for this product so I was like you know what mm, I'm going to continue to use it but I'm going to be strategic about it so now I only use this product on the side where I was getting my hyperpigmentation which was literally right here and also right on this side I have a couple of spots they are like um Hormonal spots. This is the spots where I get like um, hair because of my PCOS. We'll talk about that in a separate video. But one thing that I will say is when I stopped using this product for my face and I only used it for the side of my face, pretty much the face that I needed to brighten so that it could match the rest of my face, it honestly has helped. And even the person that told me to stop using it has noticed that this part right here has lightened up and it's starting to look more like my natural skin. So I think that once I continue to use this, I will be able to get my hyperpigmentation close to my normal skin, if not to my normal skin crossed fingers but I'll show you guys my skin is a lot a lot better you can see a little bit of hyperpigmentation right here however a couple of weeks ago I literally had like a line going like this over here and I had a line going like this over here but it's getting better do have a little spots right here like I said that's hormones and I have it's more pronounced right here now but trust me when I tell you that's better than having two dark marks going boop. Oh, and even though this product says to use it morning and night, I only use it at night because of how intense it can be. Moving on to the tri, oh Lord have mercy, trinexamic. Listen, I'm just going to show y'all that product right there. This acid serum helps reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation and this product could also be used in the morning and at night this i also only use at night and uh, helps reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation i think that it also does this paired with this are really really good i like using them together like i said it has been helping with my skin but if your skin is sensitive or if you don't know your skin make sure that you use these products carefully just be mindful so yeah last but not least the important one of it all my moisturizer this is called multibiotic and the multibiotic helps balance the skin ph levels and 
this cold. So be used morning and night. So how do I use this product? Use AM or PM on clean skin. Apply a pea-sized amount to face and neck. Apply after preferred serums. So this is my moisturizer. So this is my last step in my face care. Is that even a thing? <laughs> Anyway, this product is not clear. This is like a pale yellow color and it does have a smell. However, what I like about it is that when I pump it onto my hand, it does have a smell. But when I put it onto my skin, I don't smell it at all. Which is good because like I said, my skin is very sensitive. Therefore, if I smell a product, I'm going to be nauseous. This happens with the products that I use for my face. This happens with uh, my makeup products. That's why I use things that typically don't smell or that has a very, very, very light, light smell. But preferably, I don't want it to smell. With all that being said, I have to go do laundry and I have to make myself breakfast. And I'm not gonna show the laundry part, but I'm going to show you guys the breakfast part. So let's go. All right, you guys, I got my breakfast. I got some cafecito here. I was actually going to drink orange juice, but I decided I'm gonna need some coffee because after I eat, I'm gonna study. So yeah, more of a wake up call. And here is my breakfast, yes. I got some Eggo wafflers. This is actually the first time I have ever purchased Eggo wafflers and I have ever eaten. Well, this is officially my second time because I opened the box already. Um, but yeah, this is my first time Eggo wafflers. Uh, how do I feel about it? I mean, it's good, you know, for the current situation that I'm in. I don't have a waffle maker or nothing like that. So this will do it, I guess. Whatever. Um, then I got some bacon and then I got some scrambled eggs with some cheese. It's not Waffle House scrambled eggs with cheese, but, but it is what it is. And I got me some butter from the hotel and some syrup from the hotel. The hotel offers breakfast. However, it's only from a certain time. And on certain days I do make it, but on other days I don't make it. So on those days. I make breakfast for myself. So, I'm going to go eat my breakfast, get some studying done, and go about my day. Whew. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video. I can't even give you guys a ciao, but ciao.